Hello engineers, welcome to Chris Control Automation. If today is the first time you're watching my channel, kindly subscribe, okay? Just hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. Select all from the options that will come, okay? To turn on the notification to get all my videos. Today we are going to continue from the jogging circuit I did in my previous video, okay? On jogging circuit. In the previous video, I used selector switch selector switch and then a start pitch button and a stop pitch button but in this video in today's video we are going to use uh two start pitch button okay one is double acting start pitch button and then one is the normal start pitch button and then a stop pitch button okay to achieve the same purpose so let's look at how this circuit also looks like so let's go there so in this this is the jogging circuit, okay? Using two start switch button and then one stop button, okay? Yeah, in the previous video, okay, of jogging circuit, I used one start button, okay, and then a selector switch. Selector switch. But in this circuit, we used double acting switch button, okay? Double acting switch button. It's a switch button that has a close contact at the same time and open contact on the same switch button. Okay, so this is the pitch button, this one. Okay, this, this is the close side, the close side, and then this is the open side. So they are all on the same pitch button, okay? That is why it is, it is called double acting. When you press it, it, uh, it, it acts in double. One side opens, the other side closes, okay? That is why it is called double acting pitch button. Now, let's see here. You see, we have wired the close section of this pitch button, okay? In series with the open contact of this contactor. Okay? Yes. And then the other side is and wired alone, just in parallel with, with, uh, with, with this contact at the same time in parallel. So, see that the three, this three uh, contacts are all in parallel, okay? They are all in parallel, okay? So, now uh, let's begin by operating the circuit in jog mode. So, let me explain this again. Now, you see, this is the jog pitch button, okay? You use this pitch button, the double active pitch button, as a jog button, okay? And then this one as the start button, okay? So now, when you press, when you press, okay, on, the, on this pitch button, okay? This side will open, this corner will open, this side will close. So when this side closes, let's see here, the current close to the close section. Because our hand will still be on the push button, okay? So now the current blows through, through here to energize the conductor. So as long as our hand is still on the push button, the conductor is energized. So when we remove our hand, the push button will go back, okay? Because it is a spring loaded. So this side will open and then the conductor will, will de energize. So this is the job push button. When you press it, the connector will energize. When we remove our hand, it will come back. This side will open back. Okay? The energy in the conductor. When you press it, okay? This side will open, this side will close. So now, allow the current to flow through the conductor to energize it. Okay? Alright. So when we remove our hand, then it will come back. So this side will become close again. This side will open. So when here opens, the conductor will de energize. Okay? So that is the jogging mode. Okay, now we want to operate the motor in normal mode. In normal, normal mode. You see, the close section is wired in series uh, with this open contacts on the contactor. Okay, so now we are only uh, coming to energize the contactor for this side to close. So, what we do is we press on this start pitch button. Okay, when the contactor energizes, okay, this contact to close. Already, this one is a closed contact. This one is always closed because we've not pressed it, so it's closed. We wire it to close in series with this. So when this contact, when you press here and the connector energizes, this side will, uh, will, will close. This side is con this contact will close. So when this contact closes, okay, because here it's already closed, current is still going to flow through this closed contact, through the connector, okay, to keep it energized, okay. So even if you remove our hand from the start pitch button, it will go back because it is also a spring loaded. So when you go back, this side will open. But because this side is closed, 
and this side is also already closed. Can we still flow through? Okay, to keep the conductor in the energized state. So this is simple. Uh, the jogging circuit using two push buttons. Okay, when you go to the practical, you see two two push buttons. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. and then a stop push button. So this one, when you want to stop this one, when you start this from here, okay, in normal mode, in normal mode, and then you want to stop it, just press here to stop it. But the jog mode, it doesn't work with the stop it button. When you press it, it will energize. Because when you press it, this side it will close. But when you move up your hand, it will go back, it will open. And then this side, will, the contactor will be energized. So that is the jog operation of this circuit. It's so simple. Okay, so now let's go to the practical side. Okay, so now, so now this is the circuit, okay? So now let me explain the circuit one by one before you continue, okay? So, from the stop E button, okay? From the life, okay? From the life, come to one side of the stop. So this is it, okay? So this is it. This is then from this side. From this side, it goes to the start speech button. Okay, this side it goes to the start speech button here. So, uh, this side, okay, this is it. Okay, one side of the start, this is it. Okay, and then from the other side, it goes to the contactor A1. So, this is the contactor A1. So, this is the cable, this one, this one, okay, this one, this, this. Okay, let's trace it. You see this one? It is here. This is the A1. Okay. This is the A1. Have you seen it? Okay. Now, and then from the A2 to the overload. So this is the A2. Okay. This is the A2. You can see it well. So this is the A2 to the overload. One side of the overload. That's the 90. 95. Okay. That's the 95. This one. Yes, then the component is to the neutral. Okay, this side to the neutral. All right, you're done. Now, let me see. It. We tap from the stop, sorry, from the start pitch button to one side of the jog pitch button, the close side. Okay, this side. Just this side. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay. So now, let's see. Let's see. We tap. This is this. This is this. Okay. This is the start. Okay, we tapped, and then this is the cable. So, let's see. The, going to the close section of the jog, okay? And this is it, this side, okay? So this is the cable, this is the cable, and this is the close section of the jog, the jog push button, okay? And then from the other side, from the other side, okay? This is wiring series with the open contact on the contactor, normal open, the hold on, this is this here. So from here, it goes to this contact, this, this contact, this terminal. So let's see. So on the other side, okay, this is it. Yeah, in series. So it goes to see here. See this. This uh, number is the 14. The camera is not showing well. So this is the open contact. Okay, 14. Okay. If you can see, this is the 14. Okay. And then from the other side, from the other side, okay, it goes to the start P button. Okay. So from this side. From this side, okay, this is the 13. Okay, this is the 13, all right? It comes with the stats, okay? So they are in parallel, okay? They are in parallel, is it? Okay, uh, they are in parallel. Is it they are in parallel? Okay, now, then you use some small cable, small cable, you tap from, you tap from small cable, you tap from the close session, okay? To the other open session on the jog push button, the open session, this side, okay? Uh -huh. Start from here to this side. Okay, so let's see. So this is the close session. See this side. See this side. Okay, so we tap from here on the close session, tap from there, then we brought it to you. Oh, you see, this is the cable, okay? So from here, you trace it. Come to this side, okay? Come to the open. So the open, this is the other side of the, of the open, okay? Then from the other side, from the other side, this side, okay? This side, this side, okay. Uh -huh. It is going to uh, the 13, okay. Yeah, it can be on the start or the 13, but they are all the same. So I brought it here. So the other side, this is it, okay. This is it. 
So this one, right? This one. Let me trace it where it is going. This cable, okay? This one. This one, right? This one. You see this here? It is also on the 13, right? This is it. Uh -huh. This is it. We are done. Okay, so now let me test the circuit. We are going to operate it in jog mode before we operate it in normal mode, okay? So let's. So this is the jog push button, okay? Yeah, let me press it. You see, it is energized. Let me take off my hand. It has come back. Let me press it. Let me take off my hand. It has come back. Let me press it. Let me take off my hand. It has come back. That is it. Now, let me let me start. Let me press on the start. Let me press the start mode. Okay, I'm start starting the contactor. Or oh, I am energizing the contactor using the start. So let's see. I'll press it. I'll take off my hand. You see, it is still energized because because. This side is closed. This side is closed, and this side is also closed because the contactor energized. This side, okay. This section, this section, okay. It is closed now. So here. So now, even uh, as I remove my hand, this side is open. It is open, okay. But because this side is closed, and here is also closed, current is still flowing through, okay. Still flowing through here to keep it energized. So that is how it is. So if you want to stop it, press here. Stop. Start. I take off my hand. It is staying in there. Stop. Then this is the job. But you see, mm -hmm. this is. yes, this is the start. Okay. So engineers, thank you very much for watching. I hope you understood the diagram and also the practicals, the demonstration. This one is so simple. Okay. Yeah. You see two start pitch buttons and then a stop pitch button to achieve a jogging control circuit. It is the same as the one that I use the selector switch, then the start pitch button. The same thing, but the circuits are just different and they are not complex. So simple, okay? Yeah, so please kindly subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button for me, okay? So that I'll continue to do more videos for you to also learn. And then like the video, okay? Hit the bell icon to turn on the notification so that you get all my videos, okay? And then share the video to, to your friends. Share to your friends, okay? Yeah, so see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.